What is going on here? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been sitting on this loading screen for probably a solid two minutes now, and it's just not progressing at all. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to restart, but anyway, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the video uh, We're gonna head out to Silver Ridge Peaks today and hunt some mountain lions in multiplayer or at least we're uh, We're attempting to but it's not really working out uh, Let's restart and uh, hopefully get into an actual uh, session There we finally got ourselves into a session and I think I did forget to mention that today We're gonna be doing something. I don't think we've done before because it's uh, not very practical uh, loadout wise and that is using only semi-automatic weapons, uh, I guess in celebration of ARs finally coming into Call of the Wild in this next update. So we've got the 22 rifle that we all know and love. Uh, we've also got the M1, which is currently the most overpowered semi-automatic rifle in the game. And uh, even if they do have more ARs that are, uh, well, somebody did something here. Uh, but anyway, even if they have ARs that are higher calibers in this update, I do think the M1 is probably still going to be the king, most likely, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, but anyway, the last one that we have with us is the 22 pistol, which uh, this thing is just insane with how fast it fires. Uh, let's just real quickly... Yep, that's 10 shots right there. So that's basically going to be the same fire rate as the new AR-22. So I'm definitely interested, or uh, definitely interested in seeing what that's going to be like. Obviously, it's going to have much better accuracy, which is really nice, and it's going to have much better range. So I am excited to get a chance to try it out once this update releases on the 22nd. But anyway, I'm not 100% sure if I uh, remembered to mention it, but the reason we're going after mountain lions today is because I still badly want to get a super rare mountain lion, and I also have a couple really awesome mountain lion highlights to show towards the end of this video. Actually, quite a few mountain lion highlights. We found a good amount of them while searching for Rocky Mountain Elk in multiplayer, because uh, we're still after that albino Rocky Elk and just have not been able to seal the deal, so uh, we're going to show off a ton of the mountain lion highlights from that grind, and then uh, sometime in the next couple days, we'll show off all of the other stuff that we've killed on Silver Ridge Peaks because there has been some crazy trophies that we have managed to find and a couple of them were things that we have not seen in ages and I'm very excited to show them off to you guys so watch out for videos in the next couple days because there's gonna be some good ones Ooh, that actually looks like a really good elk right there uh, that is a big level four definitely not the type of thing we're looking for but Honestly, I can't pass up a good elk, even if we are chasing after mountain lions today. That is just too good of a deal to uh, pass up. So let's see if we can just get a shot into him as he's walking this way. There we go. That should take him down pretty quickly since we got a second shot in there as well. Ooh, there is a uh, gray mountain lion. We might as well take this guy out since he's going to be close like this. I don't know if that shot hit well. It does not look like it did. Uh, maybe. You know, it's really hard to tell sometimes. But, uh, that'll definitely take him down. As of now, this rifle right here is about the closest thing we have to an AR. Uh, mainly because it's a semi-automatic and it, uh, is a pretty awesome rifle. Well, here we go. Here is this little guy right here. Let's, uh, take a look at this beautiful elk. 444. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually what a lot of my level 5s have scored, which is pretty sad. Uh, but it's still a good-looking elk regardless. Just, uh, not exactly the highest scoring in the world. Well, I had to, uh, stop for a second and go do a couple things, so I really don't even remember what I was talking about before I, uh, left for a couple minutes, so, uh, we're just gonna continue on by taking down these two gray mountain lions. I wanna see if we can only shoot gray mountain lions this entire video, uh, obviously until we get to the highlights, which will be other stuff, but, uh, just kind of an interesting to thing to see if we can do because they did make them a bit more common uh, when they did all the fur type changes so there is a lot of gray mountain lions nowadays and it would be interesting to see if we can just take out a bunch of them well there is the first of the two mountain lions let's just swing by and grab that 37 30 on this guy right here not too bad a uh, decent little level 7 and then we've got one more right here. Uh, this one, I believe, was the first one that we ended up shooting, and it actually scores slightly lower, but we did get a perfect double lung with the 30-06, or I guess the 30-06 round out of the M1. I'm very interested to see what these other two rifles in this brand new weapon pack are going to be. I cannot wait to see them reveal it because I'm really hoping we'll get something that kind of competes with the M1. 
If this is going to end up being an all AR pack, it would be nice to see something that can compete with the M1. So uh, maybe something like, I mean, a 308 would be a little bit smaller, but it would at least be a useful rifle if they did a 308 AR. It would probably be able to somewhat compete with the M1, though it might not be able to kill quite as quick. I still think it would be a, a really good rifle and maybe it would even have less recoil, which would probably give it a little bit of an advantage for some people. I'm just really interested to see what they're going to do. There's a lot of awesome things they could do with this weapon pack. And uh, just from the first gun they revealed, I'm very excited to see what the other two are going to be. Because they did mention that this, that this was the smallest one out of the pack and that the next two would be larger calibers. So we're for sure going to be getting a new rifle for uh, hunting stuff like Whitetail, which is going to be really nice. Ooh. Okay, so that's either a gray or an albino. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's a level 9! Oh my gosh, I, I hope this is an albino, I can't tell. No, it's just a- I think it's just a gray. I think it's just a gray, but I am so happy with that. And, uh, there is more than one reason that I'm happy about this. Uh, not only is this a gray level 9, but this will be the second gray level 9 in this video, because after we take down this guy, we're gonna take a look at a gray level 9 that I ended up finding a few days ago. So, let's get this guy down. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. What a time to find another one. And I believe this is a level 11 server. Yeah, this server is level 11, so good chance this guy has never gone to this lake and never seen this level 9 gray mountain lion here. Oh, there's a level 8 too. So we gotta make sure that we uh, keep the right one in our view. Uh, that's it right there, it's about 140 away. We're gonna have to be careful with this shot because we could easily mess this up. And we just did, we hit the ground in front of it. So we didn't mess it up, but we definitely did not hit that shot. But we hit that one, so I think it's all good in the end. That is awesome. What a time to find another gray level 9 in a video where I was already gonna show off a gray level 9 that I ended up finding a few days ago. That is honestly just perfect. I was really hoping that this guy would be a level 9 albino, I mean, all of us dream of finding something like that, but I'll take a gray. It's still uh, a little bit more interesting than seeing a common, so let's go ahead and grab it. It's a gold, so unfortunately this guy's just a troll. Ah, it is what it is though. That's still really cool, unfortunate that he did troll us. 38 and 90, that, that's really unfortunate. However, I think it is about time we take a look at a gray mountain lion that didn't troll us. So let's jump straight into that. So this level 9 gray mountain lion right here was actually one that I ended up finding in single player while I was looking for the Rocky Mountain Elk albino as we've been searching for for uh, quite a while at this point. But I was pretty happy to find something like this instead. It's definitely a really cool thing to come across. And even though they are a little bit more common now that the gray fur types uh, rarity has been decreased a little bit, it's still very cool to get. It's a bit of a change up from the normal commons and reds that you see. So this was definitely a much welcomed uh, addition to our little trophy lodge and it is quite an awesome trophy uh, I did take a second shot on it just because it gave me the shot but as you guys can see this guy did end up making diamond just barely and in the lodge I checked the score and it's 39 0.07 so this guy very well could have trolled but instead it just barely ended up making it and I'm super glad that it did because this very well could have just trolled like 90% of the other gray level nines that I end up finding but I'm glad that this guy right here ended up making it now for this next one this is just a basic common level 9 mountain lion uh, we took a shot on it with the Mosin I don't know how I missed the first one I took the second shot and it ended up hitting what's weird is it was only like 170 meters away and I zeroed for 150 and it somehow missed the first shot but this one did end up making diamond just barely once again at 3910 a little bit higher scoring than the gray one but still nothing crazy now this last one is probably the craziest mountain lion I have ever found it is not only a melanistic, but it's a mythical melanistic. So this officially made it the craziest mountain lion I've ever come across. I have found a few melanistics in the past and plenty of albinos and plenty of diamonds and uh, gray diamonds, but nothing quite this crazy. 
and I was very, very happy to come across it. I have, don't think I've had my heart pumping this much in probably almost a year. I mean, obviously my heart was pumping like crazy when we found the Great One Red Deer, but this was probably the wildest I've felt in a while looking at a non-Great One trophy, because this is basically one of my dream mountain lions. I'd love to get a level 9 rare, but this is about the closest I've been able to get, and as you can see, 3820 makes it the best rare mountain lion I've ever killed, which is just incredible. I'm super happy that we managed to get it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those highlights of some of the awesome mountain lions that I've found this last week. I've been spending so much time hunting for elk on uh, Silver Ridge Peaks, and a lot of times the elk and the mountain lions end up drinking at the same time in multiplayer, mainly because I don't get a lot of early zone servers in multiplayer, which is really strange. I almost always end up hunting the later time for rocky elk, which just happens to also be the later time for uh, mountain lions. So we end up finding a lot of them alongside the elk which is honestly pretty nice, but we've got ourselves a level 9 right here that I have found in multiplayer once again. Uh, this is actually the exact same level 11 server, and this is why I always tell people that low level servers are some of the best that you can hunt, and it's always good to thoroughly check them because you can find multiple diamonds of mountain lions uh, pretty much on any server really. Mountain lions are one of those species where diamonds are extremely plentiful, or at least the level 9s are, they do troll quite often, but you can get lots of level 9 mountain lions with really not too much effort, you just gotta be thorough with the lakes you're checking. And I mean, as you guys can see here, we are in multiplayer and I just found two of them within like, probably 10 minutes of each other. And all I really did was just check all the hotspot lakes. And if you guys are interested, you can check out my guide that I've got for mountain lions on the channel. It shows off every single lake that they can be at. And I definitely recommend doing that if you're looking to get your first diamond. Or maybe you just want to get a couple diamond mountain lions to add to your collection. Because they are very, very plentiful. And once you know all the locations that they can be, I guarantee you, you will be able to find yourself some awesome mountain lion trophies. Now, unfortunately, out of all of these other mountain lions, none of these are anything good, so we're just gonna, gonna go ahead and breeze by those and uh, grab our little level 9 right here. Now, I don't have very high hopes. We've been getting a lot of trolls recently, so let's, uh, let's see how this guy does. It is actually a diamond at 3930. This is probably the best diamond that I've had in the last few weeks. The 3930 is a pretty decent one. I've been getting a lot of 39 flat and 39 tens recently, so seeing a 3930 is definitely a breath of fresh air, and the M1 just did work on it as usual. So that is uh, super awesome. Now, I'm kind of disappointed that we have not got to use either of the 22s today. So I think we're gonna go look for a turkey real quickly and uh, see if we can take it down. Well, there we finally have a few turkeys. I don't think I'm going to search for a diamond. Uh, I've been having trouble even finding turkeys here in multiplayer. Uh, this to be this appears to be a flock that is mainly light brown turkeys. And uh, now that we know that these are meant to be as common as they are, uh, it still feels very strange uh, seeing that many light brown turkeys. So I hope they reconsider it at some point, but uh, as of now, this is apparently the way it's supposed to be, so we will uh, just go ahead and take a few of these down. Let's just boop all of them. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to use that AR uh, very, very soon. Now, they did say February 22nd would be the release, uh, but it could change based on how certification goes, so hopefully we'll get to try it out on the 22nd and take out some turkeys with it. I really think the strong point of this new AR is going to be turkeys. I definitely think turkeys are probably where I'll use it most because it definitely looks like the perfect rifle for the uh, turkeys. So uh, I guess we'll see. It's gonna be interesting either way just to have something new to use. Well, we've just got dead turkeys everywhere. That is a little male right there. And then we've got ourselves a bunch of these little light brown females. And I believe there was one light brown male that we took down as well. At least I think we got the male. I'm pretty sure that we did. Either way, we've got another one right here, and then I don't know where the others flew off to. Uh, this is one of the females, but uh, the 22 pretty much doing what we expect it to do. Ah, yes, this is the male right here, and this would be the last one. 
4.20, uh, what a perfect score to end on. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the lodge because uh, for the first time in quite a while, we actually have a couple new lodge additions. So I think the only place to put our brand new Melanistic is right here with this Melanistic Blacktail Deer. Uh, because previously this was our best scoring mountain lion, but that has officially been broken with our brand new Mythical uh, Melanistic. So let's take this down and put him in that mount. I think it'll be a pretty awesome looking one. And there it is. That is honestly just amazing looking. I absolutely love the way that looks. I'm already happy that we removed that albino and put this guy there instead. I think what we need to do now is find a place to put that albino. Well, it turns out I actually had a better albino right here, so I, I guess we're just going to keep this guy here and the one that we replaced will go into a different lodge. I really don't know where else to put it. And as far as it goes for the brand new diamond gray, I really don't know where I could even put it in my lodge. Um, we've got a diamond gray in one of our secondary lodges with a with a black tail, but I don't really have room in the main lodge to put it here. I mean, I suppose maybe we could remove one of the um, mountain goats up there, but I, I don't know. I kind of like the way this looks already. You know what? I'll probably end up deciding after we're done with this video, so... I guess we'll just go ahead and end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. This was uh, quite a fun video to do using all these semi-automatic weapons. Uh, we didn't really get through all of them, which is unfortunate, but we did manage to find ourselves a pretty cool mountain lion. Unfortunately, it trolled, but I think that's okay because we did end up getting those two really awesome mountain lions a few days before. Uh, but if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to do here on the channel in future videos. And uh, I will try to reply to some of the most popular comments and uh, maybe even do your idea in a video. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.